In this video, I'd like to cover briefly what an IP address is, how useful it can be, and I'd also like to talk about what ports are and how they're relevant in remote hacking. Basically, everyone has two IP addresses. They have a public IP address and a private IP address. A public IP address, it might be something like 104.74.133.6, and their private IP address would be something like 192.168.1.101. Now, if people ever claim that they have your IP address and it begins with 192.168, they don't actually have your IP address. They have your private IP address, which isn't useful at all. So their public address is actually their router. Behind the router is what's called a network address translation, or NAT, which is essentially a function that converts public IP addresses to private IP addresses, so that multiple clients on the network can all share a single public IP. So the reason that private IP addresses exist is so that each computer on a network can be assigned a different IP address, so that they're able to communicate with each other. In my videos, or in my remote hacking videos, you often see me uh, entering my private IP address. And that is because I'm not attacking a computer on a remote network. I'm just attacking a computer that's on my network, so that's not necessary. But if you were to attack a computer on another network, you'd need to put your public IP address as opposed to your private IP address. So what can you do with a public IP address? There's honestly not a whole lot you can do. Having a public IP address isn't very valuable in terms of hacking a system. So knowing their public address would possibly allow you to access their router if they configured it poorly and you were able to guess the login. And that could lead to a compromise of devices connected to it if they have open security issues as well. So knowing someone's public IP address can kind of be compared to knowing someone's street address but not knowing where the person is. So ports. So ports are essentially doors on your network that allow communication. So these ports allow software applications to share hardware resources without interfering with each other. Computers and routers automatically manage their network traffic traveling uh, via their virtual ports. So network firewalls additionally provide some control over the flow of traffic on each port for security purposes. So what is port forwarding used for when hacking? Back to how I was talking about the port I often use in my videos, which is 443. The reason I use that is because it doesn't exactly matter which port you're using when it's on a private network. And that's because my network is not going to block communication between devices in my network. But if you're attacking a remote network and you need to receive traffic from their network back onto your network, then you're going to need to have a port open, and that's what port forwarding is. It essentially enables you to leave an access point open so you can receive traffic when performing attack. So if you were to attack a, a network that is not your own, and you were to make a, a interpreter backdoor file, and you were, put, you were to put it on their computer, so when you were making that payload, you, you would have needed to set the port as a port that is open on your network. Now, port forwarding is a different process for each network, so you're going to have to look up how to do that on your own. You must use port forwarding in order for your network to be able to capture the traffic from the compromised system running the backdoor file. Otherwise, your network won't let it in. That is pretty much all I want to go over in this video. So I thought this would be a nice video to make. I see that some of you guys are sometimes confused on what IP address to use and why to use it, as well as why am I setting the port as a specific number, uh, what ports mean. Anyways, guys, so I'm coming out with another video this week, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoy this channel or the video or the concept of my channel, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Thanks for watching. We're at 1200 subscribers now. That's amazing. Thank you so much. I'll make sure to keep making videos at least every one to one and a half weeks. Again, another video is coming out very soon. Keep your eyes open for that. See you next time.